It's really easy to win. Here are eight tips for dealing with losing ones. Number one, be a man or a woman. Look, it might sound ridiculous and harsh, but too many people do not have personal responsibility, are unable to stand up and dust themselves off and look at exactly why what has happened has happened. Be a man or a woman. Number two, loss aversion. Understand it. The psychological notion that individuals experience pain twice as powerfully as they experience pleasure. Number three, understand the odds magnitude that you're betting at. I've looked at 50,000 plus EV request to bets your odds. 90% of them were odds against. Horse racing average odds up at 33 to 1. Of course, we're going to be losing way more often than we're going to be winning. Long periods of losing, little short periods, and if we're winning gamblers, those short periods should be more profitable than the long periods. Number four, understand variance, which happens to be the sum of the value of the observation minus the mean of all observations, all squared, divided by the number of observations minus one. Understand what that means. Number five, the length of losing runs. Golf betting graphs can look very appealing, but there's only two tournaments a week, and those break even or losing ones, they could be lasting for a year or longer. Imagine going through that and still plowing on. Number six, work in teams. You may be fed up and down, but there's always that one guy in the team that's ready to go. Again, number seven, replaceable bankrolls. Don't put all your eggs into one basket. Do be betting high enough that you can bust a bankroll and replace it because that eliminates a lot of fear from betting. And number eight, move with the times. Perhaps something fundamental has shifted, like lockdown and the absence of crowds means a once in a generation reduction in action, cards, corners, and goals. Understand that sometimes losing runs are happening because you've missed a key component in a fundamental shift in your betting.